We don't get near there. Okay. Okay. This is just. We are happy here because Invoke said we are going to the end because he wanted to raid people on TV. Oh man. Take this pictures. Is fucking take cool. many pictures. This Can I go awesome. to the middle and just take, take one a, picture? Our armor? It's I'm a shame there. that the server owner isn't here. Yeah, that really sucks. <laughs> If this failure light turns back on, then we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it didn't do it! It did an L shape. Lift up. What? <laughs> uh, where'd it go? There it is. Beautiful! Oh, oh yeah! Yes! It works. <laughs> Finally! It works! Yes! Yes, all of us at the same time too. Let's to the plot. Yeah, let's go build this underneath the ground. Okay, so now activate it. No, it doesn't nope. work. You ready? Shoot. Now it works. Oh my god, I did my shaft. <laughs> Wait, where are you at though? Are you at the <laughs> Look at this teleport since it's my shaft. Oh, this is the <laughs> coolest thing! We couldn't have asked for anything better! Oh my god, I didn't go into blocks, I went into a mine shaft! Okay, okay, okay. Going, 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 going. There it is. I can see the pearls. It works. Oh, okay. It worked. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Okay, where is it? We did it. Okay. We're gonna get the safe state. We're, we're get... Right here, right here. Go. Here's the safe state. You save it right here. Yep, we got it. Got it. <laughs> Second try. <laughs> Group selfie now. Group selfie to wall border, right? Yeah, yeah, this. Oh, oh. Come over here. Wait, oh, what happened? What the fuck just happened? Other pearl, the other pearl! The other pearl! I knew the it! Pearl. I knew oh. it! <laughs> the other pearls didn't hit anything because we miscalculated. Oh, oh my god! god. I told you. But I'm. Um, this is amazing. What? I must say, this is amazing. Oh my god. We failed the first attempt because we miscalculated. We used the wrong seed. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So the first shot actually worked, but it didn't work properly. Like any other story, it all started with some Russian bloke challenging you to go to the world border with a cannon. And clearly it's not possible to go to the world border with a cannon, you need chunk loading. And if you want to go there the casual way, just traveling there with some elytra or horse, whatever, it will take days and it will just blow to your world file and ruin your world. It all sounds like a pipe dream. But yet, we went to the world border without ruining our world. But how do we do it? To start the story from the beginning, it all started when I joined Hakata server. Back then, I was kind of a new member, and I wanted to develop and design the 420 cannon, which was an improvement to the 360 cannon. After it was designed and built, Hakata had a new member called Invoke. He was a Russian guy, he did a bunch of interesting hacking and whatnot. He was really good at math, and he kept bothering me saying, XCOM, you have done cannons, why don't you go to the world border with a cannon? 
And I kept telling him that if this has already been done, I've already done this on my channel. There's the end canon, he can watch the video on it. But he said there is probably ways to go there without chunk loading. And I kept saying like, that's not even possible. Uh, you need to chunk load in some form of a fashion that you can send entities or explosions or somehow blow up TNT in a lot of chunks to load them. And he said, this is int really interesting, but how can we do this in vanilla? And I just said to him, that's just not possible in vanilla. It's not possible to send a pearl to the world border in a vanilla server. On the end cannon video that I'd done, I'd blown up 100,000 TNT that was lodged all into the daisy loaded chunks. And I'd only done the 1 8th travel in the nether to be able to reach the overworld world border. But he wasn't really interested in that. He wanted to actually go to the physical world border with a single cannon in one shot going from start destination to the end destination in however fashion possible. And I kept telling him that this is just an impossible task because there isn't enough CPU power in a vanilla server because there, the game is kind of unoptimized. It's not that well optimized. Uh, so a cannon can't take you to the world border in one shot. I also explained to him that the chunk loading that, that was done on the end cannon also wasn't that good. The chunk loading was using the villager loaders. Those required infrastructure which you had to basically build before you use the cannon. And this wasn't interesting to him at all. Building a chunk loading system, and that meant that you already had traveled to the world border, traveling there again with a can, and that seemed like a fruitless kind of effort. And you could also do all of this with just riding a horse on the top of the nether roof and build a chunk loading system, then you've already visited the world border. What's the point of visiting it again with a cannon? And the cannon was, was even doing only one eighth of the distance with 100,000 TNT. For the world border, you need something like a million TNT, and getting a million TNT on a vanilla server would definitely crash the server. Long past amount you could actually put in a vanilla server's strain before it crashes. Even if you removed the watchdog, you would pretty much run out of memory or something similar. So the idea was kind of a bust, and the whole thing kind of went to rest, and we didn't exactly know how to fix the problems. Traveling to the world border is an interesting challenge on its own. Several players have reached the world border traveling there. A player named Farland or Bust have attempted to actually go to the world border in 1.7 to see the world border, the Farlands. And there has been other players that have challenged themselves to reach it. And in practical ways, you can actually get to the world border without any complex ways to get there. Just getting a really fast horse, one of those fastest ones, can get you to the world border in the nether by just traveling on top of the nether roof. But just AFKing and traveling, you can reach it in roughly 25 days or so. And if you want to travel the conventional way on the render distance 16, which is probably what all the technical Minecraft servers, including Hecate, is using, it would add something like 500 gigabytes to your world file. That would be an extremely large world file, and taking backups on such a world file would be frowned on. And it's generally the reason that no one actually attempts to reach the world border in regular servers. But one of the tech servers, Prototech, managed to get to the world border. That was based on the system that Xerox53, one of their really smart members, had actually managed to get to the world border using a really clever trick using gateways. The gateways I'm talking about are those randomly generated gateways you can find in the end that can take you back to spawn. And they are just usually ignored by players. Mostly if you're exploring in the end, you can find them kind of useful to be able to go back to spawn. And they are also being used to trap withers and such. But 0x53 wanted to create a gateway that could link you back to spawn, but it would also link you back to the same gateway that basically sent you back to spawn. It's a really clever trick that Myron showed back in the day. It's based on pushing pistons and a clever logic to remove the, the MBT tag. It's a complex flying machine that I think is best described on his own channel. But on Prototech, they managed to reach the world border on two of the flying machines that they've sent out. There is two more flying machines that haven't reached the destination. They have t attempted it many times and it's been a strain on their server and it's taking them over nine months to reach the world border on their first flying machine. And I think it will probably take them even longer because they're planning to go to the world corners. And this will add about 120 gigabytes to the world file. 
the 120 gigabytes relative to the 500 gigabytes is because they are sending or 0x53 is sending a flying machine in a one wide corridor and this basically reduces the amount of chunks that are added to the world file it's a clever machine and it's a really smart system and the device that they basically used on Prototech is one of the most groundbreaking ways to get to the world order because it doesn't just get you there, it can also get you uh, create a permanent link to the world order. But this was not something we wanted to do. We wanted to build a cannon that could take you to the world order far faster than the flying machine that will basically take months to get there and add something like 15 gigabytes to your world file just to be able to reach it.